These videos are made for the members and students at the Sports Therapy Organisation. I'm Tim Allardyce and I've um, been asked to, to make a video for you just to talk through some bite-sized video, a short video, uh, just something easy to watch, just to run through some ideas and some principles around uh, treatment and exercise prescription. So we're going to cover the knee now. Um, I've got my excellent model Lucy. Thank you Lucy very much for your, uh, for your help today. Uh, Lucy's on placement with us. Um, and uh, so we're, we're going to go onto the knee now. Um, as I've said in previous videos, you know, the first thing we we'll want to do is to take a case history. We want to ask Lucy about her knee joint. Um, we want to sort of find out where the pain is, you know, how it came on, what's aggravating it, what's, what's making it feel a bit better. Um, and you know, was there any trauma associated with it? You know, did she jump during sport and twist badly, or did, did she hurt her knee? Did she take an impact on it, or did the pain just come on slowly? Uh, we might want to ask a little bit about her family history. There might be a, a history of arthritis, for example, in the knee joint, um, or arthritis generally in, in the family. Um, we might want to know Lucy's on any medication, or what her job is, and what her hobbies are. But once taking the history, we'd probably do an examination next. Um, again, as I've said in previous videos, we take consent to make sure patients are happy with us examining them and treating them. Um, the knee joint is a cool joint, so it's uh, it's very very good at flexing and extending. So the key movement it does is flexion and extension. That's always worth bearing that in mind when you prescribe exercises or you examine the knee joint. It doesn't do much rotation, it does a little bit of rotation, but it doesn't do much. Um, the main purpose of bending is basically for, 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 to walk, for gait, for locomotion. So let's examine your knee joint, Lucy. Have a line back. I'm just going to check her flexion. Okay, let's see how much bend she's got on the knee. So there's full bend there. That's great. We can check extension. Does the knee fully straighten? That's good. So one thing you'll notice if the knee's arthritic is often there'll be a little bit of knee bend here, a little bit of fixed, what we call fixed flexion. Um, if you want to see that if the knee's quite unstable or hypermobile, we can just check the extension. So if the knee's very, very loose, that will lift up quite a lot. Um, now, we can uh, also just check the quadricep and hamstring length. So we want to check hamstring length, we can just see how tight the hamstrings are. So you can see it's pretty good. So the closer to 90 degrees, the better. Do you want to line your front and I'll check the quadricep. And check the quadricep length as well. Ideally, the heel will go towards the butt. So that's a good length of quad. So that's great. Can you line your back for me? We can also palpate the quadricep as well. So we can just palpate around the patella. We might just check the patella, make sure it's, it's moving okay. We can palpate around the patella. We can palpate the patella tendon, which is just below the patella or just above the patella as well, which is the quadricep tendon. Um, if there's pain around the edge, that's often related to either runner's knee um, or the iliotibial band, or it can be the lateral collateral ligament, and pain on the inside can be the medial collateral ligament. One of the more common things we see with knees are meniscus tears in the older patients. So a meniscus is a C-shaped pad that sits between the knee joint, and the meniscus can easily be become degenerated and tear and you get pain along the joint line of the knee. Good, so let's do some treatments. So we can do some massage into the quadricep. Uh, you can work effluage if you want, or you can just massage like so. You can massage the friction around the patella. It's a great, great treatment to do. Really helps mobilize the patella. So we can really friction around the the, the kneecap and it's a great way as well under the patella there's the patella tendon we can massage into that it's a really great way to improve blood flow to the area and to loosen it up a little bit and to, to just to kind of get the patella moving a little bit uh, we can do some knee stretches so we just work into flexion and we can do some hamstring stretches good and just have a line in front we can do some quadricep stretches as well so we can just hold the stretch and just lean on it like so, just to get a quad stretch. So there's just some techniques we can use on the knee which are really, really useful to do. 
Um, and let's now prescribe some exercise. So just have a line back for me, Lucy. If the knee's quite stiff, then we can do some knee stretches. That's great. So all I want to do, Lucy, is just hold that there and try and just bend the knee as comfortable as you can. Uh, this is quite a cool exercise because it also just flexes the hip a little bit as well. So you're just putting a, a stretch, uh, a passive stretch through the knee. Uh, and let's do a quad stretch as well. So lie on your front for me, Lucy. And all I want you to do is just pull the heel towards your butt and just hold this with your hand. So yeah, just gonna, there you go. So there's a quad stretch. You can do the standing or line, but that's a great way just to stretch the quadricep muscle. Okay, great. Um, and do you wanna have a line on your back? Let's do a VMO stability exercise. So here's the quadricep, there's the VMO. Just lift the leg to there and turn it out for me. Just hold that there. So that's a great way to build some stability into a quadricep and as well the hip, just to hold that position and then relax. Good. So there's three exercises that we can do with, with, with Lucy. Okay, I'm gonna put that on to an exercise plan. Here's Rehab My Patient. Let's make our exercise plan. Um, so you can use templates as well if you want. There's a template button there, and then you can add your own template. So here, here's some templates we've made. You can use some of the Rehab My Patient templates as well. So look, here's, a, here's an exercise plan for a quadricep tendon strain. Um, so there's lots and lots of plans in there which you can use osteoarthritis, hamstring strain, etc. But let's just make our own exercise plan. So create new, uh, just go to my patients, there's Lucy, uh, create new plan. Let's go to the, the knee joint. Actually, let's mix it up a little bit and let's say that Lucy is actually an older patient. Let's go to our senior exercises. So there's lots of different exercises. We've got senior section here. Um, let's go to our senior knee exercises and let's um, here's some cool exercises. You've got sit to stand, um, you've got um, walking exercises, of course, balance, um, lots of balance, quadricep strengthening exercises like a wall slide, um, and marching exercises, toe to, uh, knee touch exercises, etc., um, stair exercises. So let's just do a quadricep stretch. You've also got a live search here, so if I just start typing quadricep stretch then you'll find the exercise that you need. There's the exercise that we gave Lucy, quadricep stretch. Um, or if you wanted to do it with an older patient, you might use a towel because it's likely the knee's gonna be a bit stiffer. So there's a good quadricep stretch there. Okay, um, and you gave a VMO stretch, a VMO strengthening, so let's just type VMO. And here you see the VMO, there's the exercise we gave. So let's add that. Um, and we also talked about um, a passive knee flexion stretch. So let's just go to our senior section and knee again. And let's just find the knee flexion exercise. There it is. And add that. Now if you like the exercise, just favorite it and it'll come up at the top of the screen. There's our exercise plan. Put in the plan name, knee rehab. This is a good, gentle way to do some knee exercises. Uh, hold for 30 seconds and repeat three times. This is the same exercise uh, and the same one here, but we'll put in, you know, hold for 30 seconds, repeat three times. And uh, let's hold for uh, one minute and perform twice. And let's do 15 reps and do that twice a day. Press save. Email, print it, and you've made your exercise plan. Beautiful. It's so great. It's got your logo on here. This is a great uh, advert for your clinic. Okay, so we talked about the knee joint and some um, examination of the knee joint. We did some treatments on the knee just to mobilize it and to stretch the quadricep, and we prescribed an exercise plan for Lucy. Thank you, Lucy. There's your exercise plan. Um, and then Lucy can go away and do the exercises at home on her own. And then Lucy, I'll see you in a, in a week for a next treatment. And then we'll update the exercises so that we make them a little bit more challenging. We will start live. And um, I hope that provides a very quick bite-sized summary of the knee joint. And I hope that helps.